morning or good afternoon or wherever this finds you. I hope you like the view, getting things figured out here in the online studio, learning how to look at the camera and not look at the computer. Camera, computer, camera, computer, microphone. Kate, <laughs> good morning. All right, so let's move through a practice this morning, this afternoon, today, we'll just say today. Let's move through a practice today with the intention of just being present, um, with the intention of using this new moon energy, this new lunation cycle that we're just starting to, to step into, use this practice to fill any empty spaces or any spaces that are holding fear or doubt, use this practice to move that energy. So go ahead and get started. I like to use a blanket to sit uh, because my bum is bony. So, mm, coming into easy seated position. Coming to your seat in the earth. Just that. There, maybe that's better. Okay, so taking a couple of breaths, shuffling. The universe has your back deck to just receive an extra layer of intention to <laughs> for our practice today. Mmm, beautiful. So now that you've been seated for a moment, start to really come into this space, come into the center of your mat, root yourself into the personal of your center, universe, all the jumbled words. Breathing in and breathing out, relaxing through the shoulders, relaxing through the legs, letting the spine have a nice strong alignment from the crown to the tailbone. Chest is, or the heart space is stacked over the sacral space. And breathing in and breathing out. Our first message this morning, when I lean toward love, I am led. When I lean toward love, I am led. When I lean toward love, I am led. Keep breathing. Now for the second message, oneness is my true nature. Oneness is my true nature. Oneness is my true nature. Inhale and exhale. Root into the oneness that is your true nature. Lean into love in order to be led. Inhaling the arms up overhead. As you exhale, open your arms to a T. Open the arms wide, open the palms, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Keeping the spine straight, chin parallel to the earth. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the strength in your back. And then exhale. Give yourself a hug, wrapping one arm on top of the other. As you inhale, open up the arms again. Exhale, cross the opposite arm over the top and give yourself a hug. Again, inhaling open and exhaling closed. Inhaling open, receiving the love. Exhaling, closing, gathering it in to your heart center. Again, inhaling, open, exhaling, closed. Inhale, open, plant those fingertips on either side of you and slide those right fingertips out to support you just until you feel that stretch in the side body. And then inhale that arm up, palm facing towards you. And then start to reach that top hand over the head towards the hand on the floor. Chest stays open, maybe even walking the fingertips back a little bit. Inhale that left arm up, plant the left, not plant, slide the left hand out to the side. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Reach it up, feeling the stretch nice and gracefully. Mm, and then, oh yes, reach that hand over, open up that side body. Relax through the legs. Inhale the hand up. Inhale both arms up overhead. Right hand grabs left wrist. Lean to the right. Still opening the side body. Now, you don't want to be leaned over the floor. Nice and open through the chest. Relax through the legs. Inhale up. Switch your grip and then exhale to the other side. Mm. Inhale up to center. Interlock the fingers and then push the palms up overhead. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, bring that interlock down in front as you round the spine. Inhale your interlocked fingers up overhead and then release, ring down. <sighs> Roll the shoulders up as you inhale. Let them slide down the back as you exhale. Again, rolling the shoulders up, sliding them down the back. Hmm, beautiful. Inhale both arms up overhead, palms facing each other. Turn the left hand so the palm faces out. You're gonna give somebody a high five. And then wind the hand behind. Take that right hand that's facing up and reach back to try and grab. This is cow face. I'll just show you in behind here. See my fingers, do not touch. But as you're seated, spine is straight. Don't let the neck bow into the chest. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Switching sides, right palm faces out, wraps behind, left hand drops down. This is the spot. I have shoulder injuries, so this is the spot where I have to adjust because otherwise I go too far up, I cramp. So it's all about making the adjustments in your practice so that you can find the ease and the mobility and the accessible challenge. So if you have to adjust, it doesn't quite look like what I'm modeling, that's okay. Inhale the arms up overhead, bring the arms in front of you. Let me switch to my seat here. Bring the arms in front of you like you're going to do the Macarena. Right elbow drops into the left elbow. Elbows bend, palms face out. Grab opposite palms, top thumb to third eye, eagle arms. Relax through the legs. 
Feel the breath expanding and contracting the back through the shoulders. Inhale, open the arms up nice and wide, and then bring the arms back in front of you to do eagle arms on the other side. Left elbow drops into the right elbow, elbows bend, palms face out. Bind it up, third eye activation with the top thumb, and relaxing. Inhale, the arms open. And then as you exhale, bring the arms down. And do something a little bit different, a little bit of upper body movement with some breath. So inhale, the right arm up, and it sweeps in front of you. Exhale, the hand down. Inhale, the left arm in front of you. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, sweep forward in front. Sweeping that arm in front. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, release. I'm gonna take it the other way, so that right hand then gathering. Inhale, sweep in. Inhale, sweep in. Exhale as you sweep down. Beautiful. Now take the right arm long, parallel, not too high, not too low. And then follow the hand down to the left hip. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, other side, left arm opens up. Beautiful. Inhale, the arms both up overhead, palms meet, come down into heart center. Let's stretch the lower body. Sending the legs long on your mat. Starting off easy with a forward fold. Inhale the arms up, straighten the spine. Bounce the legs a little bit to release any tension and then hinge at the hips, hinge at the waist. Fold forward, not concerned really if you're gonna touch your toes, just more concerned about feeling that beautiful back body stretch. As you breathe, breathe in through that central channel, inhaling from the earth up to just above the crown and then exhaling back down. Keep going. One more time. Take your left hand, left piece fingers, still fold it over. Grab your right toe or grab your foot. <clears throat> and then open up to the right. So open up that arm, kind of like you're looking underneath your armpit or maybe smelling your armpit to make sure you don't have a stank. But if you do, that's okay. You're still welcome here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and come back over the legs, switching sides, grabbing the big toes with the right piece fingers or just grabbing the ankle, wherever it works for you. And then opening up, trying to look underneath the armpit As you exhale and release, come back to your seated forward fold. And then inhale all the way up. Exhale, release the hands down, Lord of the fishes, drawing that left foot up, 
to, I'm sorry, right foot up to rest on the mat. I guess it really doesn't matter what foot you do because we're gonna do both sides. So pick a foot, rest it on the mat, and then take it to the outside of that knee, the other knee. Now if you notice, as soon as I did that, my back kind of bowed out. So what I do is I tap my fingertips and I pull my hips back underneath my heart. So if you're feeling, if you're experiencing that, that's a quick trick. Right hand floats behind, left elbow hooks. And looking over the right shoulder. Taking the time to breathe and twist out any residual tension, any residual stress. Breathe in and breathe it out now. As you inhale, exhale back to center and go ahead and switch sides. Switching sides to do Lord of the Fishes on the other side, twisting it out, drawing up the left leg or the other foot, taking it to the outside of the knee, wrapping that left hand behind, elbow hooks on the outside of the knee, and you're using that to twist, deep stretch in the hip. How you doing? Awesome. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Inhale back to center and draw, set both legs straight. Draw the right leg parallel with the front of your mat and then draw the left leg around so that you're in what we call deer pose or what I like to liken it to is a cheerleader pose. So creating this type of square with your seat Noticing if you uh, don't have any sweet meat on the cheek touching, make sure you have a little bit of contact with the earth. You can adjust that by taking the ankle further or closer away. And as you sit up straight, notice where you feel this in your body. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Now if your right uh, shin is parallel in front of you, take a twist to the right. Use your left hand to support you on your right. Looking over the shoulder, using the right hand to tent your fingertips for support. Inhale back to center. Exhale, send the legs straight and then rotate around to the other side. So again, just checking to make sure that you have that contact, I do not. So I'm going to adjust my ankle a little bit closer, I think, yes, closer. That's good. Oh, taking a breath in and taking a breath out, feeling this deep stretch, breathing right into that pelvic bowl Turning in the direction of that front leg, taking your twist to the other side. Inhaling back to center, sending both the legs straight. Inhale up for a quick little seated forward fold. Exhale as you fold over, one breath cycle. And then inhale back up, exhale the arms down. And then coming into butterfly, working on opening those hips further. Soles of the feet come together. You can adjust the intensity by moving your heels further or closer away from your pelvis. 
rooting into the seat, aligning the spine. And let's revisit our affirmations for today. When I lean toward love, I am led. Oneness is my true nature. When I lean toward love, I am led. Oneness is my true nature. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Releasing your butterfly, transitioning to your hands and knees for a child's pose. And you'll notice I'm using a blanket. This floor is really hard. And so in order to create comfort within my practice, I use a blanket to pad my knees and my booty. Walking yourself into or child's pose. Pick a pose. Hmm. Take some breaths here. Big, loving, surrendering breaths. Surrendering with love, into love, so that we may be led. Surrendering into that oneness that is our true nature. Surrendering physically so that our body can relax. Surrendering with each exhale into alignment. Take the hands out, plant them, tuck the toes under, headed towards the down dog. As you uh, find your down dog for our practice today, your first down dog, really check in. Check in with how you're feeling in your body, how you're feeling about your down dog. That intention, drawing the hips upwards and the spine straight, the ears are in line with the triceps as the head and the chest sink towards the earth. The fingertips are spread wide, the hands, palms are really planted and rooted as the arms are nice and straight, supported. You can even turn the elbows in just a little bit. Another big inhale. And as you exhale, come down to your tabletop position. Coming in to tabletop for thread the needle. Inhale and send that right arm long, parallel to the floor, out to the side, palm facing down. This next exhale threads that hand, palm up in between the arm and the leg on the opposite side. Coming down onto the shoulder, onto the temple, keeping the hips square and high, using that left hand for support. Inhale and exhale, leaning into that shoulder. And then inhale, push yourself up. Gracefully unthread that needle and then bring that right hand down to meet the earth. I got some makeup on the mat. Inhale the left arm long, thread your needle through, and then of course coming down to the left shoulder, trying to keep the hips square, using that right arm for support, leaning into that shoulder. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, push that arm, use that arm for support as you push yourself back up, unwind, unthread, and plant the hands in tabletop position. Right leg extends long, parallel to the earth, spine is neutral, so find a space to gaze at on your mat. 
Breathing in and breathing out, noticing how you can readjust so that your weight is evenly distributed between both hands, between that leg that is providing foundation, that left leg, top of the foot is rested into the mat. Feeling this activation already, inhale. And as you exhale, take that right toe and draw a line over to the left side of your mat and then look over your left shoulder to peek at your toes. Inhale back up to center and bring that right knee down. Sending the left leg long, parallel to the earth again, taking some time to notice. As you extend that left leg long, does your left hand take more of the weight? Does your right hand take more of the weight? How can you center and even yourself out so you have equal amounts of support from each piece of foundation that's on your mat? Squeezing that long leg so that it's parallel with the earth. You don't want to overextend, but if you're not quite ready to have it parallel and it really gives you um, what you need lower, that's okay too. And then again, inhaling. And then as you exhale, bring that left toe over to the right side of the mat, looking over the shoulder, checking out your toes. Inhale back to center back to tabletop. Sink into a quick little child pose. Rotate the palms upwards. Make fists with your hands. And release, fists with the hands and release. Planting the hands back down, coming up to your tabletop position. Mm, we're gonna do a little active bird dogging. Send that right leg long behind you, parallel to the earth. Again, readjusting, make sure that you have a nice strong foundation. Shifting a little bit more of the weight to the right, extending the left arm long. So now you have your bird dog. Now we're going to do a little activation in the core. So as we're doing this, I want you to just imagine that you're really activating that sacral and that solar plexus, your center for creativity, your center for self-esteem. So inhale. As you exhale, draw the left knee towards the right elbow beneath you and then extend it long. As you inhale, exhale, meet the elbow and the knee, nice and long. Really pushing down through all of the hand as you meet the knee to the elbow and send it long. One more time, knee to elbow, send it long, hold it there, burst of energy through the fingertips and the toes. Shoot out some fireworks or bubbles. Inhale and exhale, coming down to tabletop. Sink back into your quick little child's pose, palms up again. Make fists and release. Make fists and release. Make fists and release. Beautiful. Come back to your tabletop, do the other side. <sighs> yes, feeling that. Energy starting to pulse through the body. Left leg goes nice and long into your bird dog, making sure that you have nice foundation built for yourself here. Extend the right arm long. Tricep is kind of in line with the ear. And then again, inhale, exhale, elbow and knee meet. Inhale long. Exhale, elbow and knee meet. Take your time. Inhale, nice and long. Exhale, elbow to knee. See if you can stay centered in your mat. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. Inhale, long. Knee to elbow. Bring the knee and the hand down. Sink back into child's pose. Palms up. Fists and release. Fists and release, fists, and release. One more time, fists, and release. Roll those wrists around a little bit before you plant them down and head into down dog. From down dog, you are breathing. Breathing, breathing.
Sorry, I was paranoid that I still wasn't recording. So you're still in your down dog. I checked all my tech. We're good to go. Let's work on some more activation here. Let's work on germinating some new energy, some new beginnings within. Take an inhale. On your exhale, walk the feet towards the hands to the front of your mat into forward fold. Breathe in and breathe out in your forward fold. Puddle the legs out. Interlock the arms. As you're here in forward fold, let's infuse our energetic system again with the truth. Oneness is my true nature. Release the interlock in your arms. Plant the left hand underneath the forehead and reach the right arm up. Not moving the legs, just rotating the torso gently as you reach that right arm up, following the gaze. Bring the right hand down to replace the left and then send that left arm up long. Exhale, bring both hands down. As, we, as you root to rise, really bring that generous bend into the knees. Start by pushing down through the feet to start lifting up through the legs. Feel the power and the strength rising up through you as you rise up physically. Inhaling the arms up overhead and then exhaling, bringing yourself back to a forward fold. Plant the fingertips, send the feet back plank, find your plank, squeeze that booty, engage the core, hands are right underneath the shoulders, toes are tucked under, if you need to bring the knees down, great, that's fine, just make sure the core is still activated and the back is still straight, okay? Wherever you're at in your practice today is perfect. As you inhale, get ready to lower down, keep the elbows close to the sides, lowering all the way down, Untuck the toes, push your arms straight to arch the back gently. Think length and extension, not crank. And then tuck the toes, return to down dog. All right, from down dog, root down into your feet. Adjust the weight in your feet over to the left foot as you draw that right foot upwards for a three-legged dog. Keeping the hips square with the ground. Take the right knee and meet it to the left elbow. Send it back up. As you exhale now, send that right knee to the right elbow and send it back up. Knee to nose as you exhale, send it back up. And this time, bring that right leg all the way through. You gotta take a couple steps, do that. Right foot, right knees bent, low lunge right here, fingertips are planted. Turning the back toes out, turning the left toes out, keeping the bend in that front knee. This is like a warrior foundation. Take the right hand, place it on the inside of the right foot, and then open up that left hand. Root down into the feet. Don't let your head collapse. And then as you exhale, bring that left hand down to meet it. Frame the feet with your hands. Turn those left toes in. Plant your hands and then send your right foot back, returning to plank. As you exhale, lower down, untuck the toes. Inhale for your back bend. Now, if up dog is too much for you, you can always take and put your elbows underneath your shoulders and do a gentle sphinx. Tuck the toes, return to down dog. Solid, firm, steady foundation from which to work. Inhaling and exhaling, hands are rooted and planted. Right foot is rooted and planted as you send that left leg up for a three-legged dog. Hips squared with the ground. Inhale, and as you exhale, left knee to right elbow. 
and back up. Inhaling as you exhale, left knee to left elbow and back up. As you exhale, knee to nose, back up. And this time, bring that left foot all the way through to plant in between the hands. Bend in that left knee, right toes turn out. Left hand comes to the inside of the left foot and right hand reaches up. Beautiful, deep stretch. As you exhale, bring that right hand down, frame the feet, turn the toes in, plant the hands, send the foot back for plank, flowing through as you lower down, back bend, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale. As you exhale, walk your feet to your hands into forward fold. Bend the knees generously, root to rise nice and slow, enjoying the journey. Inhale the arms up all the way overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, send the feet back for your plank. Plant those hands, keep the elbows into the sides as you lower down. I am tucking the toes, up dog, returning to down dog. All right, let's do a little warrior dance. Inhale the right arm, or the right arm, the right leg up, three-legged dog. Bring that right leg through to plant in between the feet. Turn those left toes out for a 45 degree angle. The heel and the arch should be lined up. Nice bend in the front right knee. Headed for warrior one as you push down through your feet. Lift up into warrior one and sink down into your lunge. You might have to adjust your feet a little bit. Relax through the shoulders. You can turn the pinkies towards each other just a little bit. Inhaling, exhaling to that warrior to open up. Look out into your beautiful bright future. Inhale, turning the palm up, setting that hand behind, lowering on the thighs. You reach that right arm up. Peaceful warrior. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale the arms to warrior one. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to frame the feet, turn those left toes in, plant, center back to plank. You know the drill. Vinyasa to down dog. Beautiful. Once you get to down dog, we got to do the other side. Bring on through to the other side. Anyways, left leg up, three-legged dog. Intention to plant the heel on the right, even if it doesn't touch. Swinging the left leg through to plant. Right toes turn out, setting up for this warrior on the other side. So warrior dance, heel in line with the arch of the back foot. Pushing the weight into the back of that long leg. Pushing down for support into the foot and the bend of the front leg. Inhaling the arms up into that warrior one. Relax through the shoulders. You can even turn the pinkies towards each other just a little bit. Don't face your arms all the way backwards, but just a little, a little tweak. Inhale. As you exhale, open up to that warrior two. Awesome. Inhale that front palm up, reach up, slide the right hand down the right thigh. So you can keep that knee in line over there. Back to warrior two. And then inhale back to your warrior one. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale the hands down to frame the feet. Turn the toes in. Send that foot back, plank. 
exhale, lower down, untuck the toes, inhale, up dog. And your next exhale, tuck the toes, send your back, send your back side up, down dog. Breathing, take an inhale, and as you exhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Forward fold. Good work. By now, you probably should be feeling a little bit of warmth generated within your body, feeling a little bit of a sense of accomplishment. Maybe, maybe you're feeling proud for showing up for yourself. Maybe this was really hard to get yourself to a practice. So just taking a moment to acknowledge all of your efforts in this practice up until this point. Doing the very best with what you have right now in this moment. Inhale, wait, before you inhale, double check and make sure your feet are set hip width distance apart. We're headed to chair as we inhale. So root down through the feet, rise all the way up. Arms come up overhead and then sit down in your chair. If it feels good to have the arms out in front of you or in prayer today, totally cool. But you want your back straight, your weight in your seat and your heels, and then inhaling, exhaling forward fold. Plant the left hand underneath your forehead, reach the right arm up. Bring the right hand down to replace the left and then reach your left arm up. Exhale, both hands come down. Root to rise down into those feet, rising all the way up. And then sitting back down into your chair. Inhale and exhale back down to forward fold left hand plants right hand comes up overhead same thing exhale right hand plants left arm comes up overhead exhale plant your fingertips bring both knees down in to tabletop Taking your cat cows now, drawing the navel towards the spine, the chin towards the chest, and then dropping that navel towards the earth as the forehead floats up towards the ceiling. Find your rhythm with your cat cow, find your breath. Beautiful, sink back into a child's pose. Two palms up this time. And again, releasing, opening the palms up, releasing and receiving. Squeeze the palms together, squeeze to make fists and then release. Squeeze and make fists. And then release. Big inhale as you squeeze the fists. And release the fists and the breath. Beautiful. Transitioning on to your back. All the way down. Feet are rested on the mat. I'm gonna adjust myself here. Feet are hip width this, I mean, sorry, mat width distance apart. So setting your feet at the wider edge of your mat and then keeping the heels and the, the hips away from each other. I like to open up my arms for this one, palms up. Windshield wipers, right knee, or both knees go to the right while the outsides of the feet keep contact with the earth. Inhale up to center and exhale. 
Oh my God, this feels good. Inhale and exhale. Releasing any residual tension from any challenges that you have may face in this practice. Maybe releasing any residual tension that you have been working on moving out through this practice. Use that breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hugging the knees into the chest. Sending the legs up. I like to rest my hands underneath. Legs up the wall. No need to create a lot of tension in the legs. Just letting the legs be straight up over you. Little bend. Breathe through the central channel in from the earth. In and in, pausing just above the head and then exhaling back down and out. This time as you inhale, suspend the breath at the top. And then as you release, let it release slowly, fully past empty. Inhale again, suspending the breath and then slowly letting it release. One more time, inhale, suspend, slowly, fully release, pass empty. Bringing the feet down to rest on the mat, reclined pigeon, right ankle rests on the left knee as the right knee draws away from the nose, reaching behind the thigh, interlocking the fingers, and then relaxing your upper body into the earth. As you draw that left leg towards you and the right knee draws away. Mm. Breathe in. Breathe out, feel the effects of your practice, settling in, getting ready to integrate as we head towards Shavasana. One more big inhale, exhale, breath cycle, release the grip, let the left foot come down, right foot comes down, switch sides, figure four, rest that ankle of the left onto the right above the top of the knee. You don't want to be too far down the thigh or too far, like you don't want to see, be on top of the knee. So like right where the bottom of the thigh at the top of the knee meets, I think is where a good spot is. Or play with that, find a good spot for you. Okay, so reaching behind the thigh, interlocking the fingers. Oh. Relax into pigeon, reclined pigeon. With the left knee draw away from the nose, breathe fully into that pelvic bowl. Help support the renewal that we are engaging in as we practice this pose. Bring the right foot down to the earth. Bring the left foot down to the earth. Stretch the arms and legs long. Draw the knees into the chest. One last little stretch. Holding on to the right leg as the left leg goes long. Send the right arm long. Hold on to the right leg with the left hand. Oh, I'm gonna get all these lefts and rights correct. And then kind of rotate or shift onto the side of the hip as you draw that right knee across the body over to the left side. Looking over towards that elongated arm. Or if you want to send this right, this top leg long, you can. Try and keep both shoulders in contact with the earth. 
drawing yourself back to center, hugging the knees into the chest again, sending the right leg long now, holding on to the left knee, sending the left arm long, and then crossing that left knee across the body as you kind of adjust. I always notice I have to shift over onto the hip just a little bit more as I'm rolling over, but I still want to keep contact with the shoulders into the earth. See if I can look over this way, that shoulder injury that I'm healing right now is definitely making a difference in my practice and that's okay. I will honor that. Inhale back to center as you hug the knees into the chest. Send your arms and legs out long. Settling in for a nice little Shavasana here. Drawing the arms down to the sides. Relaxing through the whole entire body, allowing the breath to melt you further into the mat. Walk the shoulders down the mat. Relax the arms so that they're open and relaxed. I don't know if you got the hint, but it's time to relax. Take the feet and let them soften, open. Use that breath to anchor you into this space of integration. All the work that you've put in through your practice now has an opportunity to integrate into your system as you relax here i will hold time and space for you i'll play a little tune for you as well and remembering our messages for today when i lean toward love i am led oneness is my true nature Enjoy your shavasana. Use your breath as your anchor. This is your time. Let your stillness be your celebration.
to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to come back. As you start to awaken, start to stretch your body up overhead. And as you take that beautiful full body stretch, then rolling on to your right side. So as you roll on to your right side and you're making some movements back into the here and now, into this new beginning you've created, go ahead and lay in that little fetal position, activating the vagus nerve just a little bit, taking a moment for appreciation for yourself, for showing up for your practice for showing up for yourself, for showing up for your mind, body, and soul. Oneness is my true nature. When I lean into love, I am led. Using that right hand and that, or the left hand and the left foot to kind of rise you up. You want to rise up nice and gently and sweetly. Hmm, coming up to seated. Easy seated position, ready to close our class out. Inhaling with the arms up, palms meet, exhale down into heart center. Again, inhaling all the way up, palms meet, hands down to heart center. One last time. Hmm. May we be safe and protected. May we be healthy and nourished. May we love and be loved and may we truly be happy. Namaste. Awesome. Well, that is that. I hope you all enjoyed your practice today. I hope that you were able to move some energy and make more space for all of the beautiful, wonderful things that are coming our way here in this new astrological year, this new lunation cycle that we're now um, starting to deepen into. So have a wonderful day. May your practice bring you peace and may you share this peace with the world. Yeah.